My humble beginnings. Well, it first started, I was probably around, I'd say, six or seven years old. My parents bought me my first acoustic guitar. Probably played a few months, then I wanted an electric, so my parents bought me a Squire Mini. Bought that. I did uh, some lessons at Long McQuaid for, I don't even know how long. I don't even know if it lasted a year or not. But anyways, I was actually really good. You can ask my instructor. Is this recording? So, uh, I'm uh, Jacob, Matt's uh, guitar instructor. To be honest, uh, when he started, he really fucking sucked. Um, I mean, the guy couldn't carry a tune. I've taught a lot of students back in my day, and, uh, Matt Babs was uh, by far one of the worst. I mean, the guy couldn't even hold the guitar properly. Eventually I got tired of it, so I got out of it. And fast forward, about exactly a year ago, May 2019, uh, he was playing down south and it got me interested and I thought, hey man, I should, I should start playing it. My dad, my dad always had an old Yamaha. I think he got it when he was like 16 years old. But anyways, that was always sitting at my place. And I just started strumming, learning the transition between the chords, anything. Eventually, my first song that I learned is What's Going On by Four Non Blondes. Fast forward June 2019, I graduated from high school. My graduation gift was my mom's gonna buy me a guitar. So, me and my father found one on Kijiji in Sussex. I went to go pick up a Yamaha FG720S 12 string. So I went there, I bought the guitar, and I started playing on that 12 string. And I played on that for a while, and I really liked the sound. But then when I started picking anything, I really, I lost courage. So one of my old friends, Philip Ache, son of Rick from Rick and Gill. He brought his Strat and Matt right here was borrowing his Squire. So we started playing, then I picked up his Squire. Then I realized it was a lot easier to play than mine. So what he did, Matt bought his Stratocaster right here from Christopher Wheaton. So he had no use for the strat he was borrowing. So I asked Phil if I could borrow it in the meantime. So he said, yeah. So I put mine on Kijiji and I sold it. And that's what I'm using to this day. My first song I learned on the bar chords was Santeria by Sublime. After learning that song, I made a YouTube channel and I posted a video of me playing that song. It immediately blew up. A few weeks later, a famous worldwide country singer named Ben Chase reached out and he wanted to see me in person. So I went down to his studio in Nashville, Tennessee. After meeting up with Ben, I immediately started to write my own song. And that song is called Salton of Swings. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. After writing that song, it immediately blew up. I signed a record deal with Warner Brothers for a five album, 10 million deal. So 
so I'm Joe from Joe's Records. Uh, when I met Matt, uh, I knew he was not going to go very far, but uh, I told him we were Warner Brothers uh, Records. We're just a small company from uh, New York, Florida, called Joe's Records. When I met him, I knew he was going to be the worst guitar player I've ever seen, but we still took a chance on him because as times were rough in the music industry these times. After acquiring all that money, I bought myself a studio in my very first Telecaster. That was two weeks ago. Ever since then, I've been touring the world. I've been to Moncton, Bathurst, you name it. Just a few days ago, Joe Rogan reached out and he wanted me to go see behind the scenes of his podcast. Elon Musk was there actually and I met Elon Musk backstage and he asked me if I wanted to do a concert on Mars after he heard my song that I wrote Sultan of Swings that was later recreated by uh, one and only Dire Straits so me and Elon are planning a concert on Mars for 2021 so it's basically gonna be like another live aid but a lot bigger but with less people there it's a concept concert, really. It's not set in concrete yet, but we have a lot of vision. Anyways, all in all, I'm so proud of where I am now, all the money I made, all the guitars I own. And I would like to thank my mentors, Phil Strat, Ben Chase, and Rick from Rick and Gil. See you guys on Mars in 2021. Stay tuned.